Greetings, family. It's been a while, but I know that you all have been doing well. Even if you don't think so, I'm speaking now from this day forward that you will be doing above and beyond well. My words do not return to me void. Anywho, I wanted to talk today about mindsets. I have been getting a lot of messages um, via text, inboxes, whatever, that have me a little concerned. This message may go over some people's head. However, if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not at the moment, it will make sense at the right time. Many of us have been conditioned to think a certain way or even to be codependent on things outside of ourselves. In this video, I'm going to break down how mindsets work on a spiritual and scientific level. Everything around us moves. Nothing is at rest. The chair you're sitting in, the floor you're standing on, the table you're sitting at, the desk you're sitting at is moving. However, it appears to be still. The law of vibration states that everything that is in the universe is in a constant state of movement. This is referred to as vibration and the speed or rate in which something vibrates is called frequency. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. Anyway, when you think about something, you're putting that thought on a frequency. And at this time, you can only attract what's on that frequency. For example, if you're constantly thinking about and focusing on lack, sickness, doubt, fear, rest assured, you're eventually going to experience it. Like attract likes. That's the way law of attraction works. You attract what's vibrating on the same frequency level as you. So when you make intentions and goals of how you want things to go in your life, you have to already see yourself there. And this is called a mindset. You set your mind on the frequency of things that you are trying to attract. This is how your intentions take form to manifest. At this point, you have your emotions involved, your mentality, your mental involved. The only thing that hasn't took place is the physical. However, we're taught that everything happens spiritually before it happens in the physical realm. So I want you to get in your mind, whatever frequency level that you're vibrating on, you're going to attract whatever it is that's on that frequency. So if you're operating in fear, whatever's attached to fear, you may experience. You may experience chaos. You may experience lack. Fear is the lowest vibration that you can operate on. So let's raise those vibrations. And with that being said, this is your girl, Steph B. And as always, you are the creator of your reality.